How's it going guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you a little recap on our most recent clan war and just a quick note, apologies for like the poor, poor video like schedule for the past couple of days, I've had so much trouble trying to record and put the videos in, they weren't uploading and it was just, it was just stressful so I've, hopefully this video does work and yeah I've just basically this note I've been given for the past 5 videos which haven't worked. But anyway, so let's just get straight into the recap. So, first off, we have hit level seven here. This in our last war against the Canadian crew. Yep, won that of course. And yeah, so this uh, current war against War for Good's clan, um, winning 47 to 31 and only using one more attack. So a complete domination. So let's start off with a town or ten attack here, and it's on J it's from James Pecos. And it's on another town or ten as well. And as you may have seen, it was a three star, so quality raid already, as you can see. As it was a three star on a town or ten with max furnos and max eggs balls and a very good level king and queen. But of course, the layout looks terrible. So as you see, starting off, he just goes. He's just coming in with a normal go wipe strategy, along with quite a few cleanup troops. But what? There's not much skill to this strategy. It's just knowing when to place your spells and just filtering through your heroes and peckers and this is what this is just what James has done here brilliantly and so so as you can see he's filtered there's wizards on the left wizards on the right and main force of troops down the center as the peckers and all the heroes and again Gollum I think is well trying to protect the wizards he's a bit slow but he's doing it now quite well and again all the troops in the middle Peckers, strong peckers, they're going to get out very quickly as well. And the queen can easily just shoot over the walls and that. But as well, the, this base it hasn't got maxed out other defenses. For example, this archer tower here and wizard tower, they are town hall 8 and 9 standards. So, not that great there. I think that's even town hall 7 standard, that archer tower. But yep, but still, 3 starring a max town hall 10, knowing how to 3 star it. Filtering those troops through at the beginning brilliantly. That's what made this raid a three star attack and brilliant attack from James Pecos here. So we just speed it up now 100% and that was a three star on the town all 10, which definitely gave us a boost from the start. So another raid we might look at. Oh, okay, I missed a live raid, so, anyways, another raid we can have a look at is from a town all 9 on their number 10 here. Bald Eagle, he's coming in with, with what looks like a Lava Lynn strategy, but I don't think it is. He always carries a Golem in his clan castle, so if I just see, if we just see here, but how you see it starts off from the Queen side, this defender smartly placed those storages just to slow down the wizards, but as you can see, the storages aren't pr protected by anything, and he can easily just place the storages, place the wizards on the storages without them taking any damage. So as the Golem goes down and all the heroes go down, what it looks like is, yep, he's definitely thought of this well. He's made it so that the king and queen can go into that jump spell and straight onto that defending archer queen and the clan castle troops and that one air defense. And also as well, the Tesla Z, the most annoying thing in a Golaloon or the most annoying thing to defend against for balloons. And I think he's going to take out two of them. Let's just have a look. He should queen. Yes, he takes out two of those. Tesla's there, <laughs> alright, I thought I spoke too soon. But again, so here comes the main part of the raid, the Lava Loon part, and yep, again, I'm still not a master at this, I still suck so badly at the Lava Loon. But he's carrying four Lava Hounds here, and that's definitely boosting him, giving a much bigger shield for those balloons. And at this stage, again, I'm not a master of a Lava Loon. I, if I was watching this live, I couldn't tell if it's a freestyle or not. But now probably I could because there's still two Lava Hounds standing and he's still got plenty of balloons left and it's just too good. And the thing is, both of those Lava Hounds pop, making even more troops for the cleanup towards the end of a base and towards the end of a raid. And as you can see, there's so many structures on the outside of a base, but all defense is almost down. Just one more Archer Tower and that pretty much sums up this raid and a brilliant attack on one of their higher Town Hall 9s. So I'll just speed it up again. I don't think time was an issue here. It was just a very well executed attack and again a three star Just awesome attacks here. I don't know what to say and okay 
Yep, that live attack was a 3 star, so we might as well just have a look at it. Number 14 attacking, number 12. And look, there's such a big variety or variety of... Oh, this is a nice raid. Okay, so we're going in with a... What's this strategy called? The walking healer attack strategy. I love this one. Um, I've still got my queen down, but when it's level 14, maybe, in my next war, I will use this strategy. Oh, but oh, I need to practice first. I can't go into the war first time using it. But again, so this strategy, of course, is a queen with about three or four healers behind her, and then the go hog or go la loon or a la loon, a go la loon part towards the end. So again, as you can see, the start. I don't know how this works with go hog. I don't know what you would aim to take out because for lava loon, of course, you will just take out the air defenses and that. But again, the healers staying far behind, and the air defense is not shooting down the healers at all. And 1 minute 40 seconds left of this raid end. What has he done so far? Not much. He hasn't taken out the clan castle troops. He hasn't destroyed the queen yet. And he's got 1 minute 30 seconds like of a replay left. So, very interesting strategy. And again, brilliant placement of a golem. And then the two golems go down. And look, that corner is completely gone. Very well. And I think this was a clean up race. I think there are giant bombs in that area if I'm correct let's see i haven't watched it i haven't been keeping up yes there's one giant bomb and i think doubles uh no maybe not a double i think there's one giant bomb in each corner because i haven't been keeping up too much with this war because i'm not in the war so what's too much for me to keep up with and anyway so again the got hogs go from the opposite direction followed by the goblins straight away so that you won't have to waste any time and look at this raid it's already looking absolutely brilliant and then just, look, I don't know what to say, it's speechless of this amazing attack. P plenty of hogs left, the queen is still full health, and the healers even. They're healing the hog riders along with every other troop, so once the hogs are out of golems healed, she'll probably go off to the barbarian king and help him, and help heal him off. Maybe not. Alright, so, again, all defences already go down, and that three star attack was absolutely perfect i don't think it gets better than that but of course it was a clean up raid so he did get the advantage at the beginning but still an amazing attack there and then just finally we'll just go off to our only town hall 8 attack here i might speed this up a bit normal hog ride attack on a pretty weak town hall 8 i'll just put this fast speed just to get a variety of town halls and again lure out the clan castle troops take it to the corner put the witches down in the corner make sure the witches go down quickly so that they don't die off and then the hog riders go where the witches are so that the witches still stand off for the rest of the raid and then the heal spell placed brilliantly and look how many hogs are going to be left over completely destroyed Ooh. so that giant bomb there but still three star and so many hogs left over so that sort of sums up this little recap of this war brilliantly won and that puts us on a win streak of one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is our 15th win and win streak. So hopefully we can carry this on for our 200th win. So that would be a 29 win streak or 28 win streak, something like that. But anyway, you yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed those attacks. They were brilliant attacks there. And yeah, just leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And that's it from me, guys. And bye-bye.